Hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. <coughs> Pardon. And it's time to continue <clears throat> the case known as Siren Song. All right. Now, we gotta go talk to a man. All right, so we're back at the pub. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at our wardrobe. All right, where's our sailor cap? Okay. Sailor outfit. No, no, no. Well, newcomer outfit. Greatest detect. No. <clears throat> Like Dr. Suit, no, what is Alpha No. There I have a there we go, Marine uniform. Alright. Alright. Back to the bar. get in there again. Uh, oh, it's over there. <clears throat> oh, there's a bandit's lair not too far. <coughs> All right, <clears throat> let's talk to our bartender again. What can I get you, mate? Do you have a free room? Certainly do. Dirt cheap. Here's the key. Go pick anyone you like. All right. Uh, and uh, just so I can... All right. Rooms available. <clears throat> Someone's tired.
Oh, it smells of stale cigarettes and damp bed sheets. Not exactly the best place to stay in town. Uh, see anything here? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> we'll check all the rooms. Nothing there. Did I go the wrong room? Oh, the smell alone makes me feel groggy. Oh. <clears throat> he's out cold. No use trying to wake him. Oh, he's really gone on a binge. Our first drowning victim. Yeah. Cruel HMS Atlas, Dodona 1879. Huh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good. Dear Harry, you probably don't remember me, but I remember you. How could I ever forget our shared night of passion? <clears throat> Now that you've returned to Cordona, why don't you visit me at the Garden of Delights? You won't regret it, I promise. And don't you worry about the money. You are my very special client, thinking of you, Elisa. Now we need to to my garden. Your aim is a boy. Well said. said. I think, I think I'll go I'll go from you, Oh, the evidence collected here. Nice. <clears throat> So I'll have to get rid of the hat. <clears throat> okay. Siren, huh? up right now. Uh. All right. Okay, so we'll keep that like that. <coughs> Alright, so we are off to the Garden of Delights. East 
from the bar. So, let's see. I have to go east. Huh. That would be in this area, wouldn't it? Nice to see you. May I ask you something? No. Just no, alright? You don't look trustworthy. Okay, I need to put that hat back on. <clears throat> okay. I guess I do need the sailor hat. Excuse me, just one question. I've heard the stories of mariners kidnapping women for slavery. I won't fall for your tricks. Interesting. Well, hmm, let's talk to this lady. Excuse me, just one question. I'll be happy to help you. So listen to me. Yeah. Now I know where she gives me. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> Madame Pauline. Another most part of Grain Street in Silverton. Aha! <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Can I...? Do you know anything about this? I can't help you with this. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to find another lady who could who might know. Mm -hmm. I mean that our woman did say something about Is this familiar to you? No. Just no, alright? You don't look trustworthy. Fair enough. Alright. Alright, she's gone. Let's see if I can ask you. May I ask you something? I've heard the stories of mariners kidnapping women for slavery. I won't fall for your tricks. Okay. <clears throat> They're all very helpful. I have to 
find another. my outfit, see if that allows me to <coughs> let's see if that works Ask you a question? Go find your answer somewhere else. Okay. Able to help me. I'm afraid I don't know about it. All right. <laughs> May I ask for your assistance? I'll help you with this. Uh, and you're gonna say me, please. No, just no, all right? You don't look trustworthy. This isn't working. Uh, you might need a different tack. Uh huh, yeah, you're right. Uh, <clears throat> See, I wish I had images to go with this. Do I have to hunt down? Can you satisfy my curiosity? No. Just no, alright? You don't look trustworthy. Very well. Alright.
Can I ask you a question? No, honey, I've heard nothing. Uh huh. Let's try something else. Ask for your assistance. Sorry, but I can't be of help with that, sir. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'd like to know. Try this again. <clears throat> help me, please. Sorry, but I can't be of help with that, sir. Uh... May I ask you something? No, I've heard nothing. But I can help you with something else. Okay. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Is this familiar to you? No, honey, I've heard nothing. Oh, come on. Is this familiar to you? Oh, sorry. I know nothing about it. But I can please you in another way. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Yeah. <sighs> Too bad I have to look after you, Sherry. Otherwise I might investigate a few of those ladies. <clears throat> Come on over, lovey. Don't be shy. I can see you're up for some fun. Madame Pauline will see you right. Ah. Girls, boys, a bit of both. Whatever tickles your pickle, darling. Ah, so that's who I had to talk to. Oh, boy. I'm looking for the girl who wrote this letter. Perhaps you know who she might be? Let me see. No, I don't know, lovey. I have a Lizzie here, but I doubt she can even spell her own name. And what's all this nonsense about a special client? This is a business we're running here, not a charity. Interesting. Cannot help you with this, lovey. Cannot help you with this, lovey. I don't see what you're getting at. Cannot help you with this, lovey. I don't see what you're getting at. What's that got to do with me? I'm looking for a specific girl. This is her shawl. Do you have any idea where she might be? Ah, I know who you mean. It's the goody two shoes down the street. She's not one of mine, though. She's not even a working girl, if I say so myself. Trust me, love. We'll give you a much better time. I don't doubt it, ma'am, but I have to see her first. Thanks for your help. Ah! I think we should interrogate some of them. Well, hell, all of them. A 
white dress, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be her. Harry, it's you. I knew you'd come. It's been so long, but you haven't changed a bit. I don't suppose you remember me, do you? You must be Eloisa, yes? I got your letter. Wonderful. No point beating around the bush, then. I've missed you, love. I wonder if you still have your prowess. Why don't we go to my place for some wine and something extra? All right. <clears throat> How could I refuse such an offer from a pretty girl like you? Let's go right now. Wonderful. Follow me. It's not far from here. Uh-huh. Here we are. Make yourself comfortable, love. There's wine on the table. You should have some. Loosen you up. Bring out your naughty side. Will you drink with me? Uh, absolutely. I'll join you in a minute. I just need to powder my nose. Uh -huh. then. I'll be waiting for you, pet. Did you just call her pet? Seriously, boy, you are truly hopeless, Sherlock. Mm. All right. <clears throat> yep. Siren song. She is consistent. I'll give her that. Yeah. The bottle was open and the cork replaced. <clears throat> All right. And at the door we came in. If you want to keep this stupid act up, you better pour out the wine and quick. Yes, agreed. <clears throat> Press her on the left. Hurry up, she'll be out any second. HMS Achilles, Friday, 5 p.m. She prepared for their arrival. Yeah. Dear lives, with this, I am sending you the money that I promised in my last letter. Your father may still blame you, but I know, darling. <clears throat> I know that none of it was your fault. He won't listen to me, but I'm sure he misses you too. I beg you return home. Until then, you are in my thoughts and prayers. Your loving mother, Rachel Esposito. Huh? The beloved child of a rich family. <sighs> flower pot somewhere and done no hard feelings mr. Ficus right If only memories could fade away like those ripples. I wish I could forget that dirty alley, that fear and helplessness. That feeling of their hands all over my body. I can't wash it away, not even by killing them. But there is only one left. It's too late to stop. Interesting. This lip rouge looks good on her. Just saying. 
Yeah, she's smoking citrus flavored cigarettes. The dots connect. Yeah. White powder with a bitter almond like odor. These are no smelling salts. It's cyanide. Oh, here yeah. she comes. Yeah. Sorry for making you wait, sweetie. I hope the wine has kept you good company. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yes. I needed to wet my whistle real bad. Splendid, Harry. Bravo. Refreshing, isn't it? Now let me refresh your memory as well. I don't feel so well. As well you shouldn't. But don't worry. It will be all over soon. It won't hurt. Much. At least not as much as when you and your friends forced yourselves on me. Not as much as when you ripped away my clothes, my dignity, my life. I've hated you with all my heart. But not anymore. Now I... I forgive you. Truly I do. Let me kiss you good night. <laughs> now that would hardly be appropriate, Miss. Wait, 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 what's happening? It's time I drop my act. This beard is false. I'm not Harry Thorne. Oh, I see. You're the next one, then. Here's a question, mate. There's no need. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I know that you killed Thorne's crewmates, and I know why. Well, well, Mr. Holmes, you can save your breath. I won't deny a thing. But please, stop tormenting me with this farce. Do what you must. I won't, but you have to stop. I will keep it a secret, but you do have to stop. How can I stop now after I've done it? I don't want to do it myself. Stupid. It is too late. You cannot undo what you've done that much. It's, it's, it's true, true, but it's not too late, late, late to move on. It's never, never too, too late. You're my light. You must be my light. And then you were to my light. I didn't have any of you to it. I'm glad that you do now. And here's your shawl. Sure. Try not to lose it again. Oh, Thank you, Mr. Sessions. Thank you so much. Huh. Wow. Oh, you got a kiss. Well. We finished another case. Oh, that's actually good. I like finishing cases. Well. Why do I want to hear Hotel California right now? <clears throat> it's probably because it's a red light district. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we still got a bunch of other stories we got to work on here. I mean, we got like five police cases to do, Mycroft cases to do, <clears throat> murders, pillar of knives. We got a bunch to do yet. <clears throat> Seeking treasures too. <coughs> Pardon. Uh -huh. All right. So let's see what we got here. Nice to have another case done, to be honest. <clears throat> well, I like that we've handled that one in that way. Alright, let's see this one. 
treasure hunt. Tower stairs, we did that one. Big Depot, Rocky Shore. And this is in northeast of Grand Saray. It's probably over here. Let's go to Gordona Cemetery. Fast travel. Find some treasures and then we'll do some cases. Oh, whoa, whoa. area. No, I'm heading the wrong way, I think. So it's probably going to be on... <coughs> Pardon. It's probably going to be on the other side of the bridge here. I think we're getting the hang of this. Yeah, it was easy to find that one. <coughs> hmm. All right, let's see. Big Depot. Well, let's see. Secret. Ah, southwest of Grand Saray. Zebo. All right. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just get into something more Sherlock Holmesy. Respect the quiff. No more beard. Alright, 
so I gotta find a gazebo. Oh, well, you know, there's a gazebo. You know, I like gazebos. They're very romantic settings. No. Is it? No oh, one would think it's it. Uh. No, this isn't it. <coughs> Maybe I'm at the wrong spot. First off, I have to find that exact look. Wait. Extra, extra! Danger in the deep! Officer Ackley in charge of investigating Sailor's death mentioned a vengeful fish woman in his interview. Oh! Interested in some Cordona news? Yeah, I want some Cordona news. Check the front page. You won't regret it. Okay. Drowning of three seamen have struck fear into the hearts of all those that live near water. <clears throat> you do not need a vengeful fish woman to drown in a puddle if you are, are arf arf and arf arf and arf. They're drinking. You can always travel home with a companion. Yep. Hmm. I wonder. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sir. I wonder. I mean... I mean, we can't get back in at the hotel now. Yeah. <coughs> uh, uh. So, if I look from here... Go hmm. you see bow. So this one's being elusive on me. <clears throat> I don't like it when they're elusive. First off, I need to know... I have to line up the view. That's the first and foremost thing. Southwest Grand Saray, so. <clears throat> John, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Heathen's jewel over our masterpiece. 
Unbelievable. Let's see if I can restore the first meeting of Captain Holmes and first mate John. No. Yeah, you're weird, John. <clears throat> Oh! Ah! Here's the location. Let's figure it out. Let's see. There it is! We found the treasure. You and I make a good team. Yeah, you can say that, John. Ugh. Oh. Found that one. Let's see, we found tower stairs. Yep. Let's see, what's the next one? Closed mine. Depot. <laughs> okay. Company cannery. So that's up in Silverton. Uh -huh. No, Silverton docks, no warehouse. Okay. Oh. That's fast travel. Guys, I'll be just quicker right now. Ugh. Ah. Okay, so I gotta go up. I'll put the compass mark there. Actually, not far from where I found this one. Except Finchco. Alright. Now I think. Map. Ah. Uh. Uh. Really, John? What am I looking for? Ah, <clears throat> <coughs> uh, pardon. Doesn't even match up. That's odd, and that's bugging me. 
want to look at these other locations. Tower near bridge, little park, big depot. <coughs> I wonder if it's that one then. Because if that's the case, that changes things. Stable source of income, the rail was built. Uh, transportation of silver and ore and tools to the seaport and back was crucial in, in the development of the industry. However, once the silver rush ended, the railroad became useless. It was gossip uh, that it would be rebuilt for trams, but every islander doubted it since the arrival of Governor Sinclair and the introduction of more tourists. This project has finally come to fruition. We found the treasure. You and I make a good team. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I got some history too out of it. Tower near bridge. Uh, old city. Huh. Well, let's do a quick travel up there. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Case book. Let's pin that one. <clears throat> so what would that one be? It's over here somewhere.
I know one thing after I do this. After I find this one. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I think I'm gonna call it an episode. <clears throat> Let me see where I'm at on the map. Hey, yeah, that's uh. Uh, yeah, I went the wrong way, pretty much. Let's go back there. this. Here's a ladder, or a stairwell, and I think it fits what I'm looking for. Let's see. area somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, this fits the right area. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be on that side. Oh, fuck. Gives us like three of them, or how many now? Oh, we got five of them. This one. Miner's End. Uh, that'll be a tricky one to find, I think. But, that's going to be our next one to find. But I'm going to call it an episode here. Uh, as always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X Elsewhere. I thank you for watching this to the end if you have, and if you have, please give this video a like, subscribe, put in the comments. 
we stopped the siren. <clears throat> and then next time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find uh, this one. Get more of our uh, regular cases done. Including the tale of the empty house. Um, Uh, finish our child of Cordona things. But uh, that'll be next time. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen Accessware. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and check out all the other playthroughs that I'm working on that premiere at 3 p.m. Eastern in a two-week cycle. Amongst those are Plague Tale Innocence, uh, a new one going up in place of the Sherlock Holmes, the original Sherlock Holmes timeline, uh, Eric the Unready, the Assassin's Creed franchise currently on Assassin's Creed for the channel, but I played through the first three for the podcast games my mom found. Uh, Working my way through the spellcasting series, carrying on spellcasting 301 Spring Break. <clears throat> I'm working my way through uh, the Indiana Jones franchise. I've just started Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Working my way through the Shante series as well. Though I finished the third game, I'm currently working on the first game, which is just Shante. And a bunch of other things that premiere at that 3 p.m. slot. Also at 10 a.m. Tuesday through Saturday, I have videos premiering. <clears throat> Tuesday is usually a fic reading. Wednesday is one of the first seven Final Fantasies. Thursday is usually Dead by Daylight. Friday is a fighting game ladder mode right now. And Saturday is usually for a retrospective for a game or series I've beaten the story mode on. So, <clears throat> until next time, take care all. And have fun. Bye, all.